Hi there, I'm Peter Millard, and in the 10 minute workshop this week, well, we're making some mobile bases, but not for any of my workshop gear, for sewing machines. It's coming up next. So we all know how difficult it can be to get out to the workshop without being chastised for it. And one of the best ways I've found uh, is to actually go and make something for the house. Uh, and what I'm doing this week uh, is to make some little mobile bases for my wife's sewing machines. Now my wife's a, a big sewer. If you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, you should. I used to be a photographer. I take a decent snap and I also post some little video shorts. I call them snippets, video snippets. Uh, onto Instagram. Uh, I like short form video and they go down very well, but there's all, I've posted some little bits and pieces of my wife's sewing. She's extremely talented, very, very capable seamstress. She's very big into quilting. Uh, and she's just bought a, a couple of new sewing machines. One of them's a long arm sewing machine, I think. Costs more than my van, whatever it is. Uh, it's a big old lump and there isn't enough bench space or desk space, workspace to have this out permanently, so we need to put it on a mobile base so that she can lift it down onto this and then wheel it under the workbench. Uh, and that's what I'm going to be doing today. Now, these are just simple mobile bases. They don't have to be pretty. Uh, I have had a rummage through the scrap pile. I found a couple of bits of birch ply, which are very close in size. So I'm going to use those and then we're going to just pop some little casters on them. Uh, so we'll get these cut down to size and then maybe just put a little round over on the edges. With my post-it note cutlass to hand, I can measure, then cut the boards to size. Then I can knock off the edges with an Aris roundover bit in the Katsu trim router. And finally give everything a quick rub down with a random orbital sander, paying particular attention to the edges. So that's pretty much it uh, as far as finishing goes. I'm not going to put uh, a finish or a wax or a lacquer on this. Feel free to do that if that's what you want to do. But the sewing machines that these are for have little rubber feet on them, so they'll be perfectly grippy enough. Uh, and I've sanded this down to P2, uh, P120, uh, which is enough to take any sort of splinters or anything off there. So it's a, a really nice smooth finish. Uh, giving it a quick wipe down with the tack cloth to get rid of the dust. Uh, and now we can just uh, pop the casters on underneath. So the casters I'm using here are a standard two inch set uh, from Amazon. They've got uh, typically two, two locking casters and two non. Uh, they're not heavy duty ones, uh, two inch, 50 mil all around. Uh, obviously if, you, if you're using this for uh, anything heavier than a sewing machine then you'd need to get a, a, an appropriately rated set of casters. But we're just going to screw these to the base and I want them inboard so that the casters themselves don't come out of the out of the base when they turn round. If you put them at the corners, uh, it restricts the tightness of the space that you can get them into. So we'll put them slightly in board, uh, but far enough in so that you can actually lock them if you need to. And I'm just going to screw these on with some pan head screws because they work particularly well for this kind of application. I'm marking the positions with an awl. then drilling the pilot holes and screwing the casters in place. These screws were a little bit too long in all honesty, so I'm going very carefully to make sure they don't pimple through on the face side. Well, that's it for this week. Uh, just a couple of simple little lightweight mobile bases made from a fiver's worth of casters from Amazon and a little bit of birch ply scrap. As I say, I'm not putting a finish on these uh, because they're going into a sewing room, which is naturally a, a, a clean and 
tidy environment, well clean anyway, uh, if you are going to use them anywhere more hostile then a coat of wax or a coat of lacquer on this just to protect the birch ply would be a good idea. And obviously if you're going to use them for anything heavy duty then a heavy duty set of casters but the 18 mil birch ply will be able to handle pretty much anything you can throw at it. Uh, but that's it for this week, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.